high performance zone. Okay, this is a place you operate in every single day. You know this very well, because it's simply the gap between where you are and where you want to go. Is that so? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you inside, behind the scenes look into high performance. I'm going to use the Blue Angels as an example. What we're really going to do is pull out what are the critical processes, what are the critical elements, and most importantly, what are the critical thinking skills that we can pull from that powerful analogy and build the bridge to you, your teams, your career, and most importantly, your clients. So here's the tool. It's called the Diamond Performance Model. So here's, here's the diamonds. Belief levels, brief, contracts, debrief. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to break each one of these down. So belief levels. There's a concept, cognitive psychology. It goes like this. It says human beings, you and I, we don't perform at our full potential. We haven't done it in the past. Doesn't matter how good the operating group's numbers are. Doesn't matter how good your numbers are. It's not our full potential. We're not doing it right now. You're not, and I'm not. Do you know what we're operating at? We're operating at a belief level. If you're able to elevate your belief level, performance will follow. If you're able to elevate your team's belief level, performance will follow. And if you're able to elevate an organization's belief level or a client's belief level, success will follow. The brief, clarity. Redefine clarity and preparation, clarity and communication, and clarity and vision. Having the right center point. You're going to see this concept of visualization, how we prepare our minds before we go out there. It's not a new concept. You did it as a kid. I played football. I visualized all the time. But until I got into Blue Angels, I had no idea how to do it like you're about to see and then how to turn it into business results or day-to-day -day results. When I was asking Thumper, let me know when you can take a mark, what I was really asking is, are you ready? And more importantly, are you committed? I think the key to execution is trust, especially amongst teammates. You know, do you have that level of trust in your teams right now? Um, or maybe in your personal relationships? What level of trust do you currently have? And can you make it better between you and your client even? What's the level of trust that you have? I'm going to give you two tools on how to increase trust. Did anybody catch... The statement, though, that was made right before the glad to be here is fairly consistent. After somebody self-assessed their own performance, what did they say? I'll fix it. Glad to be here. I'll fix it. Glad to be here. First off um, is safe environment. Safe environment. What do I mean by that? We instituted a culture where it was okay to make mistakes. In fact, not only was it okay to make mistakes, you learned from them and you shared them because that's how you're gonna grow and grow quickly. We instituted a safe environment by having confidentiality. But notice the teamwork that was in that organization. How do you get people to come together like that? It was one word, respect. Respect for the individual. We actually did it. We respected every person on that team, no matter what their role was, whether they're in public affairs, supply, maintenance, or one of the pilots. We all respected each other for what they did. And we all came together as a team. The center point was the single point of reference that we flew an air show off of. 
we had a single point of reference. So what we would do at that point is we would plot the center point of the air show. And this is going to be the focal point. This is going to be the reference point of which all other things are going to come off of. It's a very defined point. And off that, we would draw a flight line. It'd be on the inboard edge of the runway. And we would make tick marks, milestones, one mile, two mile, three mile checkpoints. This became the product launch. This became the timeline. This became our business plan. Try this when you get back to your teams and your organizations. Ask this very simple question. What's our center point? What's our center point? See if you get the same answer. Chances are you're not. In the Blue Angels, you will get the same answer. Everybody knew what the center point was for that evolution. And we were aligned on it, and we were focused on it. See, what glad to be here meant was being thankful. Thankful for the opportunity. We cherished the opportunity to represent the Navy of the United States, the world. Actually, we had a purpose larger than self. Our purpose larger than self was ambassadors of goodwill.